Today we're going to do the whip and tongue graft and we're also going to try some chip budding. So the tools that we need or the supplies we need would include the one-year-old budwood. This is wood that grew from last year's new growth. So it's one-year-old budwood. That's what's going to graft best, whether we use a whole bud piece or, or if we use a, a, one individual bud that we'll use in the chip bud. So we need the budwood. We need the plastic tie tape. We're going to stretch this around the graft area to seal it to get, help seal it together so it won't fall apart and also keep the moisture in. Uh, it's very important to label both your rootstock and your cyan. Of course, we need to write it down. We need a sh preferably a sharp knife to do the actual grafting with, uh, pruners to get the budwood to the correct size, and then we need some sort of sealant. You can use a uh, grafting compound, a, a wax, or in this case, I'm gonna use tree paint. This is what horticulturists say don't to use anymore on any th the tree wounds, but for our grafting, it, it will suffice, although it is a little bit messy. And lastly, hopefully we don't need it, it would be the Band-Aid in case something goes wrong. So I already cut these. This is going to be the cyan, the top part, which is similar to, it'd be like a Honey Crisp or a Red Delicious. And I cut it uh, right below a bud. When I make my next cut with the knife, I'm gonna actually cut that bud out. So we have a nice clean union area. I would take the rootstock first, and I would come in and make a long sloping cut such as that. It's not quite deep enough, so I'm going to go again. And maybe one more time. Okay, perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my knife and go down, right down the uh, edge here, about one third of the way from the bark. Now this is the cut where you actually have the knife pointed towards your hand, so it can be a little dangerous. So what I like to do is just hold the knife steady and then kind of rock the wood against the knife so it just slowly cuts in. Okay, so now we've got that little notcher. We're going to do the identical cut with our cyan. So again, I'm gonna cut out this bud with my first long sloping cut. Once again, maybe not deep enough. Okay, now I think we've got it. So same thing, I'm gonna do the back cut. Again, the, the very dangerous one. Remember, hold the knife steady, just rock the wood into the knife. All right, so now we've got the two pieces and we just join them together by pushing one against the other. Now oftentimes the two pieces may not be quite the same diameter. They're usually pretty close or you try to get them pretty close. If that's the case, you want to make sure that at least on one side the cambium of both are touching. Hopefully you've seen the picture of the cambium earlier. So we need to have those cambium areas in contact with each other. So I secured the plastic tie tape to right below the graft, about maybe an inch or so below. And now I'm gonna slowly wrap it. And this plastic tape has a little bit of give to it. And so you can just kind of give a little extra tension. And what it does is it helps secure that graft union so it doesn't dislodge real easily. And then what I find is the tricky part is to tie it off. And we got it. So the graft union is right in this area here. So the next step, which can be a little messy, is we're gonna come in and use the pruning paint. I'm not gonna put any pruning paint on the, on the bark itself, but yet on the plastic that I've already tied. And so that just kinda seals that area better, and hopefully it will callus and the two will come together. 
I also like to do a little dab right on the tip of the cyan so that it doesn't dry out. Like so. And this one is ready to go. If it had roots, we could actually pot it up at this point, or we could just lay it on the side for a few weeks and let it uh, callus up. Now keep in mind, generally when we're doing chip budding, this is gonna be in the summer, usually July, August, September. You can do dormant chip budding, but uh, generally I like to do that during the, the warmer months of the year. And we're also using buds that formed that current year. So if we're doing this, say, in August, it's buds that formed, formed in, in spring, early summer. So to do it, you make identical cuts on both your cyan and your rootstock. So what I'm going to do is basically two cuts. I'm going to do a 45 degree cut, oh, about a half inch or so below the bud. Okay, and the next I'm going to start, oh, maybe about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch above the bud, and I'm going to cut slowly down to the first cut. And you need to go really slow, especially as you get, as you get past the bud, because the bark, the wood seems to kind of slip, and you might cut out your first cut. So I'm going to try to go a little slower. Okay, I think we're just about there. Yep. So this, this is our chip bud. Notice it just has a little bit of wood there. And so we've got a lot of cambium exposed there. So now we're gonna make an identical cut on the rootstock. We do a 45 degree cut below a bud although it doesn't necessarily have to be below a bud here, but. And then I cut I cut the bud out, again, trying not to overcut in past the original first cut on the rootstock. Okay, so we got that off. So for this example, this is the, uh, from the rootstock, but it's very similar to the one we got from the cyan. So we take the cyan one that we cut previously, and we take it and we insert it. Okay, but there's a little notch there from our first cut, and so I'm able to put the bud right in there. It's held up there. I still need to tie it off, but we should have really good cambium contact there, and there's a very good chance this one will take. So then we come in, and I'm using this kind of a waxy stretch tape here. And this will kind of, just with your body heat, will kind of seal. Notice I've done that below the bud. And then once I get it to fully seal, I'll do one slightly above it. And you can see the bud there secured with this uh, waxy stretch tape. And all things considered, that should probably take. If you want to be extra careful, sometimes you can take another piece and uh, put it along the sides to make sure that's sealed as well. Some people will actually even just use rubber bands but that would be your chip bud. So again, we're doing this more the July, August, September timeframe. So for the most part, I think we had a successful demonstration. Nobody got hurt. We didn't need to use the Band-Aid. So I think we're good to go.